What's up YouTube, Mr. Kill once again with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. And we start off today by taking on a girl called Daisy. She starts off with a shroomish. And I will be uproaring because that's, like I said before, is the only move which is actually effective against people. And I can see now as Strudel's getting a bit higher that he is actually getting um, some big... Ow. Ugh, spit it out. <laughs> He's actually damaging the enemies a bit more than what he used to. So, Daisy brings out a Roselia again and she paralyzes me. Oh, I, I hate getting par Ugh, paralyzed because the enemy always gets the power hacks on me. But Strudel goes to the 17, which is very nice. And Daisy just got owned. But she's got this cool little green thing around her face. <laughs> um, right, we have a double battle here because this game seems to be built around double battles. There's so many in different places. And once again, there is another plus or and minimum. But Strudel is just so awesome that... Ah, well, Strudel and Sinanas are just so awesome that they can take out anyone whenever they want. Good little combo team. And I've just realised that Sinanas is a lot lower than Strudel now. Wow. But once again, plus one minion are spamming the uh, helping hand thing, which just is pathetic. I'm not even sure what that does, to be honest. It growls at me, and of course I miss, which is very annoying. I hate missing. t uses uses Rock Throw, because t Nana's beard is just so awesome. And he grew level 16, in, and yes, he's learning Magnitude finally. Wow, what a good move. I love that move very much. And the plus all gets put down by Strudel's amazing uproar. And Strudel grows level as well. Every time t gets close, Strudel just pulls one away. And of course, you have to register them because that's what you have to do in this game. Register every person. So I get ambushed by this guy who thinks po his Pokemon are delight delightfully adorable. And he's obsessed that much that he dressed his little kid in a little Pikachu outfit. <laughs> the skit uses a trap, which is very annoying because it always... Well, that sounded stupid because it didn't happen then, but 90% of the time it always comes up saying that I'm immobilized by love. But yes, this is magnitude. It is a very good move. Basically, it's random, I think, whatever number it like gives you. But, uh, register another person. But whenever it does register someone... Wow, do you see that fish here? He's going nuts. Um, <laughs> there's that sprite again. Um, and yeah, whatever number it gives, that's what base damage it is. So, if it's an 8, it's got an 80 damage, which I think is quite good. Very good for, I think it's like a 90, maybe even 100 uh, accuracy. And Sinan is getting raped here because I keep, oh, magnitude 10. I keep getting the poison and confused hacks. And there's another magic card level 15. What magic card goes to 15? I'm hoping that Sinaz can survive this, but oh, with two health. And I I didn't trust it, so I thought I'd quickly go to Strudel just to finish him off. And <laughs> I get the power hacks. Wow, wow, he gets the power hacks. And again! Well, I want to just kill a Magikarp. Right, there we go. <laughs> I love that sprite. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to have to heal up Sinanus here because I don't want him to die. Okay, maybe I don't heal him up. Hmm. Oh, anyway, I'd run back to the Pokemon Center properly. Super speed running. 
We're gonna go this way this time and save over here because you will be fighting May. And yeah, make sure that you've got your team set ready for fighting her Pokemon. Make sure that you keep Waffle ready. Wow, I have to keep Waffle ready because of um the Trico or the evolved form of that, which I think she does have now. So they have an hour in which just gets raped by Muffin because Muffin's awesome and he throws a level. How awesome is that? And he brings out an Electrike, which I just stay in because it can't really hurt me. I don't think, anyway. And the mud, yep, Mudshot takes it out like a pro. Steal the little kid's lunch money. Right, I'm trying to scoot up here to see her on my scoot. There she is. So make sure you prepare to fight her. And there we go. She is relatively easy as long as you've got the um you've got the right people to kill them with. <laughs> um but yeah, at this point in the game, she would always have a water Pokemon, fire Pokemon, and grass Pokemon. So whatever she started with, it will be it'll depend on what other Pokemon she has. Obviously, because she started with the grass, she's going to have a random water and fire Pokemon. And the water Pokemon, as you saw there, was the Wingo. Grass Pokemon, which is Grovile. Which just gets owned by Waffle. Wow. It's a lot of experience. And here you can see the fire Pokemon is Slugma, which is really... Not, I don't think it is very good at all, to be honest. I think its defenses are really bad. I pull off a nice magnitude 8 and take that slugma out like a pro. And 300 experience, which is very nice. 1200 Poké Dollars, which is a um, reasonable amount. And if you win, you get the item finder, which I will never use because <laughs> I can never seem to get it to work. She flies off on a bike. Because bikes can fly in this game. Yeah. Um, you walk up and there's another double battle, as usual. Um, the Electric I just want to take out for the free experience because everyone likes free experience. Oh, so I seem to be a bit depressed in this one. The <laughs> wow, this commentary is pretty bad. Sorry about that. And there's a collector with lots of Pokeballs and a guitarist. There's a Lombre and an Electrike. I'm going to mud shot that Electrike because it's super effective. And obviously I'm going to uproar because I see anything Strudel knows. Electrike just got owned. And they're going to bring out a Voltorb. Which is going to be crap. Of course they get the Sun Spore on Strudel. And Strudel is really, really bad for um, getting stun, uh, stun sport because whenever it's paralyzed, it can never hit, honestly. So I changed to Sinan Azure, but just for that reason. And the tackle does <laughs> 1 HP because Sinan is a beast. And Muffin grew level 22. It's very nice. He's astonished, but that does nothing. What am I going to use here? Rock throw. Tackle does about a third. And rock throw doesn't finish him off, which is unfortunate. Uh, Muffin takes him out with a tackle. Because Muffin has got a hard head. And Sinan's grows a level, which is very nice. And... Uh, so Muffin takes him out. Again. And we defeat both of them, which is nice. I uh, get 1200 Poké Dollars and register with a Mac Core. And with them defeated, I will end it here. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.